Hi, this is Chris, ZL1CVD. Uh, and today we're, I'm going to be showing uh, how I, I want to test digital modes between one PRC2200 and the other via, uh, I've got a USB sound device, a USB rig link, this device here. I've got one connected to, to each transceiver. Uh, my computer's sitting up there and the screen's over here with keyboard mouse. There's two instances of MSHV working, and what we're going to do is we're going to try it in, uh, in unencrypted, and then we're going to use encryption. So, we're, the transceivers at the moment are set to clear mode, which is no encryption, uh, and we're on uh, 20 meters, and of course they're connected to a dummy load, so it's not actually transmitting on the air. So let's have a go. Uh, it took a little bit to get the audio set up um, because I'm using one computer as opposed to two. Um, it was just a bit tricky to get the sound card set up but uh, they're all working now. So I've got FT4 working. Uh, I've set uh, MSHV which is the program here. This left window is the left transceiver and the right window is the right transceiver. So we're going to be sending a FT4 signal, so we'll just turn it on now. You can hear that in the background. That's the, that's the message that's being sent, and that should appear in this window here, and it does. Okay, and we could see that it was decoded over here. You can see the static from the radio is in the waterfall. We can hear that, no, we can see that, and we can see the signal coming through. It's nice and strong and see it decoded it again a second time. So we'll turn that off and what we'll, sh what we'll do now is we'll set the radios up for encryption and uh, first of all we'll show you uh, what encryption sounds like uh, when you listen to it with a normal radio. Um, so here we have a uh, just a FT710 tuned to the same frequency and uh, as you can hear, um, my voice is coming through. That's in plain text, what they call plain text mode. And we will go over here and change our setting to secure. And now you can hear that uh, you can't understand what I'm saying. Uh, it's all uh, being uh, encrypted. So let's just talk about that a little bit more. Um, the way it works, these transceivers basically, uh, uh, they take the audio and they digitize it and a computer runs it through an algorithm uh, and if it's plain text, it doesn't scramble, it just converts it again back into uh, analog and transmits it as we know how a single sideband signal would work. But if it's we go into uh, encrypted mode, there's certain uh, keys that you load into the radio which are um, a sequence of numbers and both radios must have the same sequence of numbers uh, for uh, communication between them. So it will digitize it, add the encryption and then transmit that modified audio via single sideband to be picked up and this radio here applies those keys to what it's received to decode it and then give you audio. Um, the, the challenge is, with these radios, there's a delay. There's about a, um, when it's not encrypted, there's a, a few, uh, we'll just go plain text so you can um, you can see what I'm talking about. As I'm talking here, you'll, see, you'll hear a slight echo in the background, and the echo is due to the vocoder in the uh, PRC2200 digitizing and then de-digitizing the uh, signal. So there's a slight delay. But when we uh, turn encryption on, that delay becomes even worse. So if we were to try and use a digital mode that worked on a specific time format like FT4 and FT8, well, they're not good examples because it actually does work with FT4 and FT8 because they are designed for bad conditions and, and crowded HF bands. So they're really good modes for sending communication and getting this, the message through. Uh, and that's why they become so popular, I suspect. But if we try to some of the other modes, like um, uh, some of the JT modes, it just uh, it won't work. 
I've tried it and it wouldn't work. But anyway, let's, I, I digress here. So we've got this radio set to secure, and we'll set this radio also to secure. And we'll try, our, we'll go over here, and we'll show how that it will work when we're uh, encrypting the signal. Um, so we'll just clear our screens here, so you can see that it's, that it is working, and we'll just enable transmit again. That was only a partial message, so we wouldn't uh, a partial transmit because it wasn't on the full time sequence. Now here's a full one. And we can see it's been decoded there. Now if we go over to um, here and turn this right up. No, we can't I'll knock the dial. Hoping to be able to hear the. I can't really pick it out. Okay, so anyway, it, it it's working. So we can see that um, in encrypted mode, we're being able to send a, a signal from one transceiver to the other, and it also works in plain text mode. But as I say, due to that vocoder delay, some digital modes uh, won't work. All right, so that's a bit of. Uh, something I found quite interesting. I didn't think it would work at all because of the vocoder delay, but it has worked and um, and it's worked surprisingly well. Okay, thanks for watching my video. Cheers.